The Cleveland Cavaliers have some pretty talented players occupying their front court right now between the likes of Evan Mobley, Jared Allen, Larry Markin, and Kevin Love, but they can use some depth at the wing position. Adding a young wing who can defend at a high level as well as shoot three ball at a high rate should rank high on their offseason checklist if you ask me. Depth pieces have proven to be important for a team on the rise, especially for a team who has dealt with so many injuries throughout the 2021-2022 NBA season. And with that said, a player who should be on the Cavs' radar at the wing should be none other than Duke forward A.J. Griffin. He could potentially be a great fit for a Cavaliers team that lacks a true two-way wing. After a freshman season in which he averaged 10.4 points per game, 3.9 rebounds, and an assist, he was named to the ACC All-Freshman Team. Griffin is a powerful wing who plays with an intensity that isn't teachable and brings it on both ends of the floor on a night-to-night -night basis. He has a high level of athleticism, a solid frame, and can honestly be mistaken as a linebacker with his thick shoulders and low center of gravity, but that doesn't stop him from making plays above the rim. He is often listed at 6'6", sometimes at 6'7", at 220 pounds, and can defend multiple positions, which is a highly sought after ability in today's NBA wings. He has a strong upper body that allows him to carve out space in the lane, and is very good at scoring against lengthy defenders and initiating contact. His 1.4 free throw attempts per game leave a lot to be desired, but he did manage to complete 79.2% of them, which is a positive. And if he could continue to initiate contact at the next level, it would be a nice addition to a Cavs team that features so many players that struggle to draw fouls. The Duke product had a pretty efficient freshman year as he shot 49.3% from the field, 44.7% from three-point range on good volume with 4.1 attempts per game, which would have tied Cavs guard Colin Sexton for six on the team this past season. It's this type of efficiency that has so many NBA scouts thinking that Griffin could turn into a highly productive 3 and D wing early on. Now offensively speaking, he is pretty versatile and can generate points in a number of ways, whether it be as a slash or cutting to the rim for an easy basket, or as a pull-up shooter capable of shooting the lights out with good form and a clean release. His high basketball IQ allows him to operate as a secondary playmaker, who could eventually develop into a formidable shot creator, which is pretty important for a Cavs team that doesn't feature many. He can excel at scoring on off-ball motion plays and moves the ball really well. Defensively, his size and length allow him to frustrate his opponents in both on- and off-ball scenarios. But he's got to work on his defensive awareness though, as he can be beat on backdoor cuts and by players who have a quicker first step than him. Honestly, he really just needs to work on his anticipation and adjust to the speed of his assignments, and he'll cut some of those preventable baskets out. The White Plains native is one of the younger players in the draft at age 18, but he does fit the Cavs' current timeline in regards to building a championship-worthy squad, which could take a few more seasons. Like most draft prospects, Griffin is far from a finished product, and the Cavs don't have many players who can handle the rock, and unfortunately, it just wouldn't help in that area. He can often be unselfish to a fault, which wouldn't be beneficial to a team that needs wings that are unafraid to pull the trigger after witnessing so many confidence woes from the likes of Dylan Wendler. He would also need to display confidence from day one in order for J.B. Bickerstaff to feel comfortable trotting him out on the court over more proven options such as Dean Wade, Lamar Stevens, or Jetty Osman. His injury history is a bit concerning considering the dark of players on the current roster who have dealt with injuries throughout their entire careers. Only time will tell if the Cavs finish high enough in the lottery to be able to draft Griffin, but one thing is for certain, and that's that his addition would force J.B. Bickerstaff to make some tough decisions in regards to who is in and who is out of the rotation on a nightly basis.